coming up. An anchor cranker is battered by a force 10. It's coming up to six metres as well. The fish police are out to enforce the letter of the law. I've been here 30 years and they still don't understand it. And 330 Squadron fight to save a man's life. Right now we're just monitoring the Okay, guys, we are ready for sailing now. The Havilla Mercury, a giant anchor handling vessel, is heading off on its latest North Sea mission. This uh, ship has uh, cost, when you build it, around uh, 50 million pounds. The winch is 400 tonnes, and uh, the engine has 18,300 horsepower. You feel that there is power in engine. Yeah. Do you like that? I like it. <laughs> These extreme machines are designed to hold gigantic anchors used to hold oil rigs in position from the seabed. Their incredible power is also in demand to tow these mega structures to new locations in their hunt for oil. Built to withstand the toughest conditions on Earth, these anchor crankers, as they're known, can cost up to a quarter of a million pounds a day to hire. Fishing in the North Sea is a serious business. Competition is fierce, as big hauls can mean big bucks. A few prime cocktails there, eh? But every year, it's estimated over £80 million worth of illegally caught fish is netted in Scottish waters alone. In a bid to stamp out this illicit trade, Scotland's elite Marine Conservation and Protection Unit have been given the power to stop and search any boat on the high seas. In the last year alone, they've boarded over 700 boats and inspected nearly 350,000 tonnes of fish. With a vast fleet of patrol ships, these guys make sure nothing slips through the net. Norway's 330 Squadron operates a fleet of elite sea kings. They can reach speeds of up to 140 miles an hour. These brave men cover over 200 miles of Norwegian coastline, but they're on standby around the clock to deal with any kind of emergency. In the last year alone, they've completed an incredible 1,500 missions, helping save countless lives. The crew has just been called out from their North Sea airbase. A man is unconscious with a critical head injury after plummeting down a ski slope. The unconscious could mean anything. There was no medical information, so we have to think of this as the worst case. 